let's go. Let's keep going with the 100 days. Um, replace and repeal Obamacare. House Republicans spent much of 26, 2017, excuse me, trying to figure out legislation that could replace Obamacare without success. A vote that summer would have ended the Affordable Care Act, f- ended up failing in the Senate when Arizona Senator John McCain voted against it. Do you remember when he flew and gave this speech on the floor in the middle of his cancer diagnosis and killed the Obamacare? That was Republicans that killed this, by the way. Mm -hmm. Uh, It was not Democrats had the numbers. It was Republicans killed. Remember why that happened is that Trump had to pick a fight with him. That's right. Right. Had to create a rift inside the party. Mm hmm that he couldn't get over because he's personally he personally couldn't get over it right so that yeah, was right. he he is his own worst enemy he could have repealed and replaced and fulfilled that promise had he not been so petty and personally gross um let's see here where was i uh congressional republicans were able to to succeed in repealing the Obamacare requirement that people buy health insurance or pay a tax penalty. Good thing. Um, You know, the problem with that is that they, they broke the system even worse. And so one of the consequences because the third leg of the stool was the mandatory requirement to carry health insurance, which no person in America should be forced to buy a product. Health Mm -hmm. healthcare is a product. It is not a right. You do not have a right to other people's labor. Uh, and health is so a right is something you are granted because you exist Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like the right to be left alone by your government, not locked up the right to say what you want without the government. Free speech is about the government and other people forcing you to be quiet, be quiet. It is not, I don't want any consequences for my speech. That's not free speech. Um, the, in a libertarian society, you will have consequences for what you say. Just wanted to clarify that. But there's no labor involved in that. You can say that you can own a gun, you can own a a, a thing without suffering consequences at the hand of the government. That's a right. But the right to healthcare doesn't exist because you cannot force a nurse or a doctor to treat you. You cannot force other people to pay for that treatment. And so um, Part of the importance of the Obamacare working was the fact that there was the mandatory insurance. You had everybody had to buy into the pool to to force money into that system to keep it funded. And if you didn't have that, the system would break. Well, what happens when the system keeps getting worse and worse and worse? Not only is there a human cost to that, a very real human cost at the hands of public policy, bad public policy from both Democrats and Republicans this is going to need to be replaced. And when it needs to be replaced in some emergency fashion, it's going to matter a lot who's in charge. Mm-hmm. And so then it again becomes the greatest stakes in election history, because if this guy wins, we're going to get socialized medicine. Or if this guy wins, they're going to give us free market health care like George. Bo- oh, never mind. He socialized medicine further with Medicare D. Are you going to say Reinhold? Well, the thing is, too, is that when you when you do that sort of thing and create the problem, as it were, so Obamacare is the ACA is working in a way, right, because it has those mandates in it. So we don't agree with those. We don't think they should be there, but it's working. You break it. Right. So that it's still there, but it's now not functioning as well. Your Mm -hmm. opponent gets to hit you with that and say, look, we had a plan in place that was working. He broke it. You need to listen to us for the solution. And it just gives more power to the liberals to institute more control over our lives mm-hmm. through through our health care, which is a horrible idea. But the people who are voting are going to see that they're going to listen to that argument. And now you've just given that ammo away because you because you couldn't think through that. And to beat up a new Republicans. Nixon and the HMO Act in 72 is a big reason why our current health care system is broken. Mm-hmm. And why it's he basically let the insurance company write federal law on insurance and health care, and they gifted themselves a lot of money. And so the prescription companies get rightly beat up on, on stuff like opioids, but it's the insurance companies that are the worst actors mm-hmm. in all of this because they were able to 
buy off Nixon to craft the legislation that they want. If you remove the ability to buy off politicians, all of a sudden they don't have the ability to force us to have this horrible health care. Obamacare, which is not functioning and not working well, is an idea by Mitt Romney. And that was not lost in all of that debate, is that Obama basically copied Romney's health care. And that's a big reason why a lot of Republicans were not hot on Romney is because socialized medicine was his. But in the federal system, Massachusetts can do that. And Indiana can choose a different path. And you can have 50 different laboratories and experiments. Correct. The problem is that Massachusetts kept going to the federal government to get bailed out. Right. And so then the argument becomes it's cheaper if we do this across the country and it stop bailing these individual states out. Harry, what were you going to say? Well, yeah, we should. Uh, I like the the idea of the different laboratories, just like here in Indiana, the Healthy Indiana Plan, uh, which worked for a while until, you know, like I said, it keeps getting bailed out or used to expand Medicare. Uh, the, the there's just these a lot of these major cities always need always for some reason need bailing out. You would think it'd be a lot of the small towns to take these massive bills. Oh but, no, they get subsidies. Trust me, the, yeah, they do, but it's usually in the other farmed ones. It's yeah, all the, farm stuff. Yeah, the fifth risk ar articulates this beautifully. He goes, the irony is, and he lists all these different programs mm -hmm. uh, th that he's talking to from somebody in the ag department. The irony is that all these Trump supporters live in towns that are surviving on federal dollars mm -hmm. through not just farm subsidies, but free health care clinics and, mm -hmm. and jobs programs. And these, these rural areas that are supposedly for uh th they're really just wanting power so they can keep their money flowing to them instead of uh all the money going to the liberal cities we need our farm subsidies the, it, the 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 right is just full of contradictions like that and then with boston you've got the billion dollar with the big dig project which they've also lost money on several different times dig, trying to dig. yeah the big dig when yeah. they were yeah <laughs> Anyways, the the if you look up the with Mitt Romney and all of them with the big dig project with them just billions of dollars just to try to dig under the, the stupid ocean in the bay to leave traffic instead of just like moving you know just you know allowing people to because they're centralizing power in the center of Boston so it's really hard to get around you know so they thought they thought it was cheaper just to dig under the freaking ocean in the bay so. Uh, so continuing on this, congressional Republicans were able to succeed in repealing the Obamacare requirement that makes people buy health insurance or pay a tax penalty. Republicans successfully neutralized the penalty on people who were able to afford health insurance but chose not to buy it. The requirement to buy health insurance was known as the individual mandate. In their 2017 tax bill, the Republicans set the penalty at zero. In December of 2018, a federal judge in Texas ruled that the repeal of this essential part of the law meant the entirety of Obamacare is therefore unconstitutional. In June, the Trump administration asked the Supreme Court to overturn the ACA. The Supreme Court agreed to hear the appeal, but not before October, with a ruling likely to come in 2021. 